Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a tour and interview with Lisa, who lives in the Class A behind me, and she's going to share, she's from D.C., another DMV sister, yay! So she's going to share her rig with us, she's going to um, answer a few questions and give us a tour, I've already seen it, it's gorgeous, so um, let's get to it! Okay, everybody, this is Lisa. Hello, Lisa. hello. She's from um, DC and she's going to share her rig with us. Can you um, first tell us, your, does your rig have a name? Yes, my, the name of my rig is Untethered because that is my new life. Lisa hey. Untethered, so not tied down by anything. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Sorry for the wind, guys. And uh, what uh, make, model, year, all that? So this is a 2016 Thor Axis 25.2, and I love it. Awesome. Okay, so um, what is this on the front? What is, yeah, what is this? So this is called a Magna Shade. So what's nice about it is that it keeps the heat out, okay. but I can see outside of my window, uh -huh. and people can't see in. So it's a very nice feature, and we'll see when we go inside why I like this so much. Yeah, because I was, I was, I've been camping with her for two days, and I didn't see nothing. Right. So, sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything on the outside you'd like to show us? Um, that's, that's about it. Uh, just that it's got this big window that we'll see once we go inside. Okay, okay. All right, lead away. Okay. And um, how many feet? This is about 25 feet long. Okay. And if you look, I'm sorry, back here, you'll see that there's a rear slide out. And we'll see that when we go inside. All right. All right. So welcome. Thank you. Okay. And she has a traveling companion. Yes. Also, part of my crew oh, is my. Fluffy, Hi, my Fluffy. ride or die. She's 11 years old, Shih Tzu. All right. Okay. So, you this guys. is the front part. I love it. I love it. This big window that you get with the Class A's, but this is a small Class A, so it's not a big monstrosity. Right. One of my favorite features of this, and let me show you all where I do my coffee, my breakfast, eat my meals, is I can sit right here awesome. and just look out. That on, is awesome. on the scenery and it's like I said van. <laughs> <There's Maria. laughs> exactly and she nobody can see show. it exactly <laughs> and so I love I love this 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 part of it in one of her favorite cities yes and colors. Paris Paris and purple those are those are my favorites but yes yeah, pretty easy to drive uh, I was telling Crystal as long as you can see out your mirrors and I have a rear view uh, rear camera here as long as you can see yeah. it's not bad so the other thing that's cool is that this is actually a drop-down bed. Mm -hmm. So you get extra space. So actually when one of my friends and her 10-year-old daughter were staying here, mm -hmm. she stayed up here and she loved it. Yeah, she that's loved great. it. So great, great to have that there. Couch I love because this jack knives into another bed. So nice. very usable space here. Nice. Have a lot of storage up here. And you'll notice this is wallpaper that I did because... RVs tend to be very brown, yes. and so I needed to sort of spice it up a little bit, and so being able to utilize my favorite color, um, yes. you'll sort of see this throughout on the cabinets. It's perfect. And then over here, there's a, there's a TV here. I have three TVs, but I never turn on the TV, mm -hmm. so I'm not even sure if it works. <laughs> <laughs> but this is nice. So I have this pop-up here, so if I'm doing Love dishes it. or extra prep, prep space, yeah. so that's wonderful. Nice size sink yep. here. A lot of cabinetry. Um, I was telling Crystal earlier, I actually have a 90 watt solar panel mm. um, on the top of my RV, so I hardly ever have to run my generator. That's great. And um, some of the controls and everything are up in here. I have a 12 volt uh, plug in right here, and I also have a Wii Boost to help with cellular service if I'm somewhere where awesome. you don't get cell service. Great, great cell service. Another touch in here, let me switch around, okay. is I've painted the backsplash purple right here and painted my um, refrigerator and freezer purple. Love it, love it, love, love it. Love my, uh, I guess it's a stove area. Mm -hmm. So three burner. I cook mainly with my cast iron skillet. Fits on there perfectly. That's great. There's a microwave, which I hardly ever use yeah. that yeah. as well. Um, this is nice little 
pop out that is awesome. to store store things. I love that pantry. So loving the pantry. Yeah. And I have my monitors, all of my various temperature monitors for outside, inside, and for my refrigerator and freezer just to make sure everything is where it needs to be. Perfect. Another thing that was important to me was to have a regular bathroom for me. Yeah. Um, I take a shower every night, and so if you look at the shower, it's it's pretty big. It is huge. This is actually like, bigger. We need to both fit in there. <laughs> like it's, 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 it's a good size shower. It's a good size shower. It's actually bigger than the shower that I had when I stayed it in is Paris. Good and tall. So it, yeah, very tall, very tall. So and I have no issues. Explain the oh, shower yes. head for me. So this is called an oxygen shower head. Um, what it does is it squirts oxygen in the air in the water before it gets to you, so you have really good water pressure Got without it. using a lot of water, which is key when you're when you're yeah. boondocking especially with no hookups. Love it. So a lot of great space in here. The rest of um, it. Again, plenty of space to 20. keep. More, more, than, more than I need. Oh, yeah. More than I need. And what's your tank situation? So what I have a 40 gallon freshwater tank mm -hmm. and then the gray water I believe is, for, is 40 and the black is 20. So I have more more holding tanks than I do fresh, so I could actually refill my freshwater tank right. and not have to dump. So I can actually go about two weeks without dumping, That's which great. is which is very nice. That is very, very nice. Nice. nice size, I think. Refrigerator, oh, yeah. freezer. Oh yeah, definitely. More than more than enough space. Oh, more gosh, than enough yeah. space. I tend to freeze a lot of things. Oh yeah, that's great. That's so good. Wow. That's Good, bigger yeah. than some of yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. More than enough space. As we come over I here, crazy closet. here's my closet. Insane. And once again, a lot of space. And as I was uh, telling Crystal, I roll a lot of my clothes yeah. so I can fit, once again, way more than, than exactly. what I actually need. Exactly. And by doing the rolling method, I can, even if you look in this drawer, and look at all the shirts wow. that I have just in that one drawer and awesome. and even in this drawer. Wow. Just a, a lot. Tons and tons. Yeah, tons and tons. It's cool. I have a mirror here, which is nice. Yes. You see yourself when you're fully dressed. Exactly. So this is my bedroom area, which, again, awesome. I love it. Plenty of space, plenty of light. And as I was explaining, outside, I have the rear slide out. So what happens is, is when I put it in to drive the mattress folds in half or awesome. folds and then this whole piece comes in right what's nice about it is that i can keep my car hooked up in the back nice. and have the slide out so i never awesome. have to feel like i have to make any sacrifices awesome. if i'm boondocking if i'm at walmart it doesn't matter i always have full access to everything and then more um storage space up there. Now these drawers under the bed yep. as well? Yep. Wow. Once again, <laughs> wow. a lot more storage. So really I try to go, I can go about three weeks without doing laundry Oh wow! because I'm able to have right. that many clothes. Right. And in here you can't see, but there's I'm another sorry. TV again that I've never used. <laughs> so I'm assuming it works. Right. I'm sure. It's <laughs> but, new. It but there you does. go. <laughs> the fact that there's pocket doors there's no swinging doors yes exactly and there's no curtains yes. sometimes you need more privacy like that. than a curtain yes exactly <laughs> so I love that. exactly and i can put um like these are my reflectics okay. i can put those on the windows right. if i need to right. um for, for more privacy yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense so yeah everything so let's works go sit well down for a sec if okay you your little chair and i want to just get two seconds ask a couple of little questions we'll sit, we'll sit here all right we'll sit here Everyone wants to know some things, and I don't usually ask them, so I'm going to just two seconds ask a couple questions. Sure. So, first question would be, um, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy lady, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, when I turned 50, whoops, sorry. When okay. I turned 50 mm -hmm. in uh, 2016, I realized that my life at 50 was exactly the same as it was at 40, mm -hmm. and it was a great life. I mean, I had a great life in D.C., great friends, lived in a great place, but... It was just, it was the same, and I just didn't want to keep doing the same thing. And my father died fairly young. He was only 62. So it's the whole, you know, tomorrow is not promised. And so I, I figured out how to um, work with my staff, with my business back in D.C. I promoted from within. I gave raises. 
And so they really support me in being able to live this lifestyle. So I'm still in contact with my office back in DC. I have a medical weight loss business that was started by my father. All right, shout and out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Dr. Beals Medical Weight Loss in DC. So if you all are in the area and uh, need to lose a few pounds, definitely check us out. Right. Um, easy to find. And yeah, so it works really, really well. I have to put in a couple of hours of work a week, and it's really just text messages here, a few calls, but it works really well. Okay. And um, have you had any challenges since you started? How long have you been on the road, and have you had any challenges? So I started the day after Thanksgiving, so I've been on the road for about four months now. Okay. I, I don't really consider them challenges. I mean, everything is a, is a lesson. Right. You know, lesson learned, and that's sort of how I, I see it. Even the other day, I was driving to come here and ended up in front of a tunnel that was eight feet tall, and I'm 11 feet. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you have to, you, you stay calm, you know, you move slow, you move very deliberately, and yeah, I got a few little scratches on the front, but, you know, le lessons learned about making sure I, I really understand my, my route. And so that, that's how I see it. You know, I've had some blown tires. I've had a squirrel eat out the electrical system of my car. But, you know, I mean, that's life. You know, life still happens even when you're a nomad. Exactly. So that's how I see that's it. True. And one other question. What would you say to those watching and dreaming or thinking or possibly one day I'm going to do that? What would you say to those people? I think the number one thing is, is to have a plan. Okay, and once you have that plan, even if it's a five-year plan, okay, so you have your plan. The second thing is don't buy any more stuff. Like, stop buying stuff because <laughs> then that's just going to be more stuff that, that you have to get, get rid of. But then also there is no perfect time. I mean, this sort of popped into my mind, and within a year I, I was gone. I was gone, and, and, you know, when you need to get stuff along the way, you'll get stuff along the way. Now, one thing I did do that I think was very helpful is um, I actually bought my RV in April, and I didn't leave until November, so I did a lot of practice runs okay. to really kind of help me understand, right. you know, dumping of the tanks and helping me with the driving and things like that. So, and I watched a lot of YouTube, in, including Crystal, so, you know, getting, getting the information ahead of time is, is really important. You got to do your research, not just, like fly out here. <laughs> um, you, you really don't take anything for granted, whether it's your relationships or the way you live your life or, or really any anything that you do. So I really do see every day as a gift and try to enjoy the people that I meet, the places that I go. So that that's really what I think it is. Don't, you know, don't don't think that that what your life is today that you'll get to have that life tomorrow. You, you got to make it happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. All right. <laughs>